Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. On this special day, we ask God's presence in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. And with your spirit. God calls us to follow him at times we fail. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you guard our feet from stumbling. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Jesus, you call us to love one another. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you teach us the meaning of forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us give praise to God as we say, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way. The wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Say hey. 
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. It is good that we are here on this morning for in a modern parable, Jesus goes walking one day along the streets of a very big city. He roams rather aimlessly, letting his feet take him where they will, the way you or I might do when we are just out walking. On his walk, he sees many people and many things, but only three stay on his mind. When he returns home that night, God the Father asks, did you enjoy your walk today? Did you see anything interesting, my son? Jesus answered, Oh yes, Father, I enjoyed the walk, and three times I saw myself along the way. The first time I saw myself in a priest walking along with his hands clasped and muttering to himself. He was in much anguish for his people. The second time I saw myself in a lonely lad who used his street smarts as a means to survive. He was an accomplished pickpocket. The third time was when I saw myself in a woman who, with a child in each hand. Her husband had left her, and she struggled to love and care for her children without the help of their father. Whereupon the following dialogue takes place between Jesus and the father. When will you ever learn, my son? The father says with a sigh. But I did learn, father. Did I not send you to earth, my only son, to tell them about my goodness and my love, asked the father. Yes, Father, Jesus answered, and I did, but I also listened, and they told me about their pain. Is not their pain, is not their pain of their own choosing, the Father asks. Jesus answered, Father, whatever it comes from, pain is pain. Sternly now, the Father says, my son, you let your human heart carry you away. Yes, Father, I did, Jesus whispers. Then the father smiles and reaches out and embraces his son, happy that his son went walking in the big city streets that day. Like Jesus in the parable, God is sending us out to roam the city streets, so to speak. God is sending us out in the world to witness, 
God is sending us out to share his presence with the world. That is why he calls us together like this, to prepare us to go out from this Mass. We go out speaking about him. We go out to minister in love and to bind up the wounds of those who are hurt. We go out to let our human hearts carry us away as we identify with the pain of others. We have gathered in Jesus' name, and truly, he is in our midst. He is here to help us deepen our relationship with God. He is here to show us how to experience God more fully in our daily lives. He is here to help us understand how our relationships with other people affect our relationship with God. He is here to teach us that when our relationships with other people are sensitive, sincere, and loving, the power and the love of God are released in us and begin to flow through us. And we are gathered in Jesus' name to answer the call to open ourselves to the power and let it flow. Where two or more are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from from God, God, light light from light, light, true true God God from true God, God, begotten, not not made, made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all all things things were made. made. For us men and for our salvation, salvation, he came down down from from heaven, heaven. and by by the the Holy Spirit Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. By his grace, Christ has gathered us in his name. Our prayer will be granted by our Father in heaven, for we know that Jesus is here in our midst. Please respond to each prayer with Lord, hear us, that the members of the Universal Church may walk together in unity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that leaders of nations may respect human rights and reject repression of the human spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people whose actions separate them from the church may be reconciled, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be just and loving as we live out the commandments of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering those whose lives are in crisis may know the love of Christ the healer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be cleansed and prepared for the eternal union with Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, our Father, grant the prayers of your people. We join them to the intercession of Jesus who dwells among us and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the, de the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours now, now and forever. And forever. Lord Amen. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with each of you. With your, with your spirit. Thank you, and let us share a sign of God's peace with those near us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gift that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with each of you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.